Who will be our new leading lady? Who is tied to the mysterious bee appearing in the TV show? And which beloved character will possibly pass away? Keep on watching to find out all about the second season of Bridgerton. Ever since we marathon watched the first season, we needed more. Bridgerton was literally everything we ever wanted and needed in a TV show. And now, after it ended, it left a big Bridgerton-shaped hole in our hearts. Thankfully, our lord and savior Netflix came in rushing to confirm the second season. And the excitement is through the roof. From the confirmation, which was a post from Lady Whistledown, we already know who the real star of season two is going to be. Anthony Bridgerton, played by Jonathan Bailey. When asked about outlooks for Anthony in season two, Bailey said, you want him to learn how to love himself and hopefully to make some mistakes without those mistakes causing serious hurt to the people that he loves. I want to see him on the dance floor. I want to see him smile a little bit more. I want to see those mutton chops back. There's so much scope for him. So far, one thing about Anthony has been confirmed for sure. In the second season, he is all about finding the one. We left him at the end of the first season at a bit of a crossroads, so I'm looking forward to jumping in and discovering how he fares on the marriage market. Anthony is going to have a love interest, and it's going to be as sweeping and as beautiful as viewers have come to expect from the show. This hot bachelor is going to look for his Viscountess, since we all know his last relationship with Sienna ended in shambles. So with Anthony finally on the market, what can we really expect from the second season? If the show creator Chris Van Dusen decides to stick with the books, we already have some major clues on the way. Our bitter Anthony is going to fall for none other than Kate Sharma. Her name was changed from Sheffield to Sharma. The producing team came up with this name change so Kate and her family can be a direct Indian descendant and can keep up with the more inclusive version of the 1800s London high society. We are so here for it. And not only that, but we already have a confirmed cast. The charming Kate is going to be played by none other than Simone Ashley. We've already seen her shine in Netflix's Sex Education as Olivia, and we genuinely can't wait to see her in Bridgerton. She is going to absolutely eat up all the fancy pastel-colored robes. Kate is young, wild, and certainly will spice up the scene. In the books, she is described as most meddlesome woman to ever grace a London ballroom and spirited schemer. So guys, we are in for a ride. Anthony will be trying to court Kate's younger sister, Edwina, but Kate decides that Anthony is not good enough for her little sister. And you know what that means? We will get the superior trope, enemies to lovers realness. So not only are we going to see sparks between the lovebirds, but we will see someone finally resisting Anthony's charms. Netflix described Kate as a smart, headstrong young woman who suffers no fools, Anthony Bridgerton very much included. Kate is the baddest, and she's ready to show everyone how it's done. They're going to fall in love with bickering and misunderstandings, but we already know the writers are going to destroy us with some iconic heart-wrenching speeches, like the iconic I burn for you scene from season two. And the fans? They're absolutely delighted. It's the way Kate Sheffield and Anthony Bridgerton are going to annihilate everyone in season two of Bridgerton for me, said one Twitter user. Kate has been a fan favorite ever since the books, and she's tied to the mysterious bee appearing all through season one. Not only is the bee behind the death of Anthony's father, and then making him fear bees for the rest of his life, but also in the second book, The Viscount Who Loved Me, the bee is appearing even more often, especially with Kate. They even have a scene in the book where a bee stings her and Anthony goes into a bit of a chaotic mode. We we can't wait to see this duo on our screens. We know they're going to serve and might become our new favorite ship. Not only are we buzzing with excitement, but so is the author of the books, Julia Quinn. She said this in an interview. All I know is that, you know, having written the source material, I think we're all going to be happy because they really set it up beautifully for all of us to really want Anthony to both win in life and get his comeuppance at the same time, and I think it's gonna happen. His love interest just really is his match, and it's going to be great. And while we're sure that we'll fall in love with Anthony and Kate, we can't help but worry if we're going to see our faves, Simon and Daphne. They stole our hearts in the first season, but will there be room for them in season two? When asked if they are coming back, Chris Van Dusen, the showrunner, answered, I hope so. They are now, of course, the Duke and Duchess of Hastings, but in my mind, they will always be Bridgertons, and I think they will always be a part of the show. Reggae Jean Page is also stoked about coming back to the Bridgerton world. He said, I think there are a lot of good stories to be told in this world. There's a plethora of characters, and each of those characters has cousins, uncles, and dogs, and I think people enjoy exploring all of those depths and nooks and crannies. 
The first season ended with Daphne giving birth to a beautiful baby boy, but what does the second season have in store for them? We would love to see them being an iconic parent duo while looking like the coolest couple on the balls. But could there be shadows looming over their marriage? Reggae Jean Page said this in an interview, As far as continuing to explore characters, I think that love is an evolving thing. It's a living, breathing thing that needs tending, that needs looking after, that needs mending when it gets worn or torn. They get married very young. They still have a lot of growing to do. They have a lot to do, and I think it'll always be fun to watch them do that together. It seems like there might be some troubles in paradise. There's a possibility that Daphne might want another child, and the same problems will ensue. We hope not, but seeing them broken apart is a possibility. But there is one much, much darker theory. While stalking Phoebe Dinever's Instagram to see the adorable behind the scenes from the set and her gorgeous selfies, we found a picture that caught our eye. It's a picture of Phoebe in a stunning black outfit that we haven't seen before. And according to the caption, it's from Bridgerton's set. And we weren't the only ones. A fan came up with a theory that shook us to our cores. They said, did anyone question why she's in all black? Dressed as a widow. I don't remember seeing her in this outfit in season one. OMG, not your grace. This theory is basically saying that in the second season, we would witness the funeral of Simon. And knowing Shonda Rhimes and her other shows, this wouldn't be as surprising as you think. It's very much the style of Shondaland to kill the main characters to spice things up. We hope this theory doesn't come true, because it would break our hearts. Along with Kate, we have other new faces to look forward to. We have a bunch of new characters we are going to be introducing, said Chris Van Dusen in an interview. Who knows, we might be getting love interests for the other characters as well. Besides Kate, we will definitely meet the whole Sharma family, especially her younger sister Edwina, who Anthony originally decides is going to be his wife. The actress has not been casted yet, but do you have someone in mind who you would like to see in Bridgerton? Another cast member who can't wait for season two is Golda Rushevel, who plays Queen Charlotte. We adored her in the first season, from her love for some messy tea spilling to her iconic glares that would freeze up just about anyone. Queen Charlotte was actually a character that was added from writers in the show, and even the author herself, Julia Quinn, regrets not including her character in the books. She said, I go back and forth between wishing I had actually written her in the books and then being glad I didn't, because I don't know if I could have done as good a job. Golda is really looking forward to the second season. I love the scenes with her husband, King George, and I think it would be really interesting for a high-status couple to investigate mental health, she says. And I'd love her to get involved with Eloise in finding out who Whistledown is. I love those two becoming FBI detectives. We have to agree with her, because we love seeing the royals all loved up. And her and Eloise would be the best kick-ass duo, don't you think? Bridgerton's own Sherlock and Watson on their search for Lady Whistledown. And while the characters are still trying to uncover the identity of this Gossip Girl-style writer, we already know who it is. None other than Penelope Featherington, played by the lovely Nicola Coughlin. So how is the second season looking up for Penelope? Nicola said this in an interview. Surely she'd be quite rich because the first Whistledown newsletter was free, but then she starts charging, so it fascinates me to think she's the only independently wealthy woman in the ton at the time. She's making her own money, but it's like, what is she doing with it? Where is it going? I also don't know who's taking over the Featherington estate. Does Colin go away? How long has he gone for? Eloise coming out in society, what would that mean? The actress has loads of questions and theories on her own, and so do we. It seems like we can only wait and quietly keep manifesting their happy ending with Colin. While being asked about who she would love to film with, she answered, I'd love to do something with Jonathan who plays Anthony Bridgerton. I think he's just a phenomenal actor. He's so good. I'd love to do stuff with Golda Rushevel, who plays Queen Charlotte. I love her. We would love to witness some heated interactions between Penelope and the Queen, while Queen Charlotte tries to uncover her identity. So when can we expect the second season? We can happily announce that shooting will start soon, set to start in spring 2021. And to make you all more excited, Nicola Coughlin has already let us know that the fittings have started. She tweeted, I can't tell you when does the recording start yet, but I can tell you I'm having a fitting tomorrow and I'm very excited to be a ginger again for the day. It's safe to say that we are buzzing with excitement like bees. Considering the shooting will start now, we can expect the show in the later half of 2022, but nothing is set in stone, especially with the pandemic going on. Phoebe Dinever seems concerned about this. I can't imagine how it would be possible to film under these circumstances. There are so many extras and so many crew members, and it's a very intimate show. It just baffles me how we would film it under COVID rules unless there was a vaccine beforehand. 
Phoebe's concerns are completely reasonable and valid. Well, we hope the situation will get better soon enough so the filming can go smoothly. But all we can do is wait. Just like Lady Whistledown said in her latest social papers, patience, after all, is a virtue. Are you looking forward to the second season? And who would you like to see the most? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.